Hold on. Let me go. Um, let me go. 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 Wait, man. Wait, man. Let me go. All right, folks. The hotly anticipated video is about to start. Okay, Ibed is here and we're going to have a very interesting discussion, history lesson for these people. Now I am seeing on Facebook, well sorry, backtrack, Apple event was on Tuesday and Apple unveiled their iPhone 8 and iPhone X. Are you if we address stuff like that? No, they're they important <laughs> right now. We're here to address the iPhone 8 right now. And to kill all of the haters and the doubters with one video. Mm -hmm. Like Eben right here. <laughs> and I'm going to even show Eben how Microsoft paid a part in producing this technology. So, I love to read articles. If, uh, if, you, if any of my friends, my close friends will tell you that every single day, I make sure I read every single article. Almost every single article on a, a couple of websites. Now, when I saw the event on Tuesday, I knew exactly where the technology came from. I went and I watched all of the videos from the bloggers, from The Verge, and I'm like, nobody realized where it's coming from? I read the articles like, nobody realized where it's coming from? And then I went back into my archives and dig up my files. Mm -hmm. So, Iben, let me walk you through. Okay? <laughs> where Face ID, let's deal with force, uh, Face ID. People mm -hmm. comparing it to a substandard quality um, Samsung I read in foolishness. Hello. No, Samsung was not the I read it. Samsung is just uh, the Samsung, face recognition. The face. It uh, does not. It's substandard. They, they, they have quality. The face recognition. They have uh, iris and the, they have the fingerprint. Either one of Every them. Three they have. Both of them crap compared to this. Let's start with the Wii in 20, 2006. Why is the Wii important? The Wii changed casual gaming. And Microsoft wanted to respond to the Wii's popularity and they went and they partnered with a company called Prime Sense and they made the first Kinect. You remember the Kinect? Oh man. You did? It was a disaster. Alright. No. Good, Jump, pro good product. Good but product. It was a disaster. For the Xbox, it, Xbox users and casual gamers. Mm -hmm. Xbox users are heavy heavy gamers so the Nintendo trying to compete with Nintendo was not the best strategy and I believe the Kinect really fell by the wayside now in 2013 four years ago let's look at the history here the Note 8 and the S8 came out this year four years ago Apple brought, bought the Israel company PrimeSense now what that company did was tracking so position tracking and all of that and everybody thought Apple was going to make a, some kind of game or some kind of TV. But fast forward to 2017. Four years of development, people. Microsoft decided to go it alone and made their own Kinect 2 and abandoned Prime Sense. Apple bought them. And you see the trajectory, even. Microsoft, in all of that research and development, came out with HoloLens, a big, funny-looking helmet. Apple took that same technology and miniaturized it down into one small bar at the top. That is what we call innovation. Okay? Innovation. <laughs> Let me just get it right. <laughs> and this is the, the significant difference between Apple and Samsung. They took four years to make sure that they get it right. Samsung will take, will never take that time. Let's back, to, I don't know, I'll deal with Samsung at the end. Let me just deal with Apple right now. So that is just the history lesson of where the technology be behind Face ID came from. You can research it yourself. Prime Sense bought in 2013. The same technology, motion tracking and all of that, you will see for yourself where that technology originated from. Alright, so that is Face ID. You been how you feeling? Tell me now. Not, not that way. Not that way? Not that way. So you think you're still feeling that the copy? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. My issue is not copying. You're not copying? Okay. My issue is not copying. So what was your issue? Let me hear your issue now. 
my issue uh, right with with Apple and it always impresses me uh -huh. how they could make something that to the public uh -huh. right basic <laughs> right and market that as and if it's the greatest thing, the greatest no. thing. Hey, that is no 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 it's me well, every time think, you know? people think that Apple does just come and take other features that um, Android don't do but one thing that I, I one of the YouTubers mentioned is Apple is never forced to the market. But anytime you see Apple coming to the market, know that they have done their homework. And that is something I appreciate about Apple. They've done their homework. So, Eben, mm. four years of research and development, you don't think that's enough homework? That, that's more than that's enough. More enough you that. know when Apple, before Apple introduced Touch ID, they bought another, I didn't do the research, but I could get the research for you. They bought a fingerprint company and spent years before they, they introduced Touch ID. That is what you call dedication to quality product. Alright? So, Eben. Let us go. You ready for more? Let us I have let us more tabs open <laughs> here, Eben. I have a stack of tabs that are waiting here. I, I, I think I think you're confusing me with the many haters that you have. The many haters online. online? Okay. <laughs> I don't right. share the same views. You don't share it? Well, hey. No, 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 no. Well, let me go through the... I, so, so that's the first part. So I'm touching every part of what Apple did. Um, mm -hmm. So the, 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 the lens, the, 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 whatever they call it at the top there, the stack of lens and all them, yeah, that, yeah, the that projector and all them things yeah, there. Yeah, the infrared and the depth sensor lens. Yeah, that is some neat technology that started with the Connect and Prime Sense. And they had the initiative to take that big box of Kinect and shrink it down to a small camera stack. Compare that to Google Tango. Same AI platform, but an ugly platform, a big ugly camera. Apple came and miniaturized that technology right down, right in front of Google's face. Mm -hmm. And then Google responded by dishing away with Tango. Because, yeah, because they clearly they, they, right they now, realized that they killed Tango. Tango ain't working anymore. <laughs> Tango ain't working. So right in one for so yeah. Tango dead. One time. Because they brought out AR Core. Mm -hmm. After you've been investing in Tango for so much years, Apple just come and release AR kit and kill Tango project one time. Because the phones were big and ugly and it wasn't it wasn't as, as attractive. So point one for Apple. No, that is three points. One for taking the time to make a product. Two for actually delivering the product and three for killing Google Tango. That three points. Let's keep stacking up the points mm. as we go along. Mm -hmm. And let me convince the public of what Apple really did. Let's talk about the process for a second. And I, this is one of the most overlooked part of the presentation. Apple brought out the A11 Bionic. See what I'm saying? It's a Bionic. I could say it's a boy. When I look at the processor. Now, before I go into the numbers, I'm going to talk about why is this significant. If I was working at Intel and I was watching that presentation, I would have had a diarrhea. I would have gone to the toilet and just emptied my bowels. Because Apple brought out a chip that is in a phone that has a limited battery. And guess what? Guess what, folks? That iPhone X, iPhone 8 processor beats, let me give you the numbers, Geekbench score for the MacBook 13 inch Pro, Intel Core, Intel um, i5. It hits 4,227 on the single core and 8,955 on the multi core. The iPhone hits 4,061 on the single core and 9,959 on the multi-core. So Apple is no longer competing with small food. Apple is no longer competing with smartphones, Android smartphones. Apple is competing with 
laptop class processors. That in itself is huge because if Apple does what I really want them to do, switch OS X away from Intel and move it or graduate iOS to a desktop environment, whichever way you want to go, you have all of the apps, you have all of the developers, you could take over the desktop, the desktop and the laptop market away from Windows because you'll have developer support, multitudes of apps, but that's a conversation for another time. But can you imagine that you, my good listeners, will be buying a phone, some of you might not and scoff at it, that has the amount of power packed in a 13 inch 2017 MacBook Pro and it's going to be faster than a lot of the laptops. So the laptop that you might be looking at on me, looking at this video on, the iPhone X might be faster and more powerful than your laptop right now. Now if that is not innovation, please somebody shoot me. <laughs> Just shoot me. Alright, so 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 even what do you think about the battery now? Like I said, <laughs> because it's not only the A11, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. even the Snapdragon 835, uh -huh. that in all, I think phones have surpassed many laptops, mm -hmm. the power of many laptops. It's not the first time. Yeah, but. Right? But the fact that it's impressive that mm -hmm. Apple has beaten their own processor in their MacBook. Well, actually, Intel's processor, right? Intel, your days might be numbered. <laughs> your days right? might be numbered. So. The fact that it's not it's not a normal thing to to say that your phone is faster than your your laptop. It's been so, it's been like that for a while. No, it's been like that for a while. Apple man. could say that. Mm -hmm. Apple could say. That. Let's look at the benchmark. The huh? Let's look at the benchmark for the Snapdragon. So um, we're gonna be live pulling up the benchmarks for. Let's let me see. Let me see. Let me see what the benchmarks are. Mm -hmm. yeah. I believe it is. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Here we go. The the highest is the Mi the Xiaomi Mi Six, mm -hmm. single core, nineteen hundred. Apple doubled that. Mm -hmm. Apple has four thousand, so that's double. Mm -hmm. The fastest multi core, which is actually faster than the Samsung Galaxy S eight Plus, is six thousand three hundred and forty seven. Apple has. 3,000 some advantage over that. This is no competition for Apple. Apple don't even bother with these foolish Snapdragon foolishness. This is no competition. Their competition right now is MacBooks and laptops. Snap, Snapdragon my, my, my bottom foot. I don't want to say the other word. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. So their processors, their foolish processors, eh? Nothing to, nothing can compete. Alright, so even Yes. Now that your eyes have been open to the actual values that you are getting from the Snapdragon 835, that's on all of the flagship phones this year, mm -hmm. and you're seeing the Geekbench score for the laptops, and you see where the Bionic lands in that spectrum, my good people. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? Like I said, <laughs> you're confusing me with the number of Facebook people you're The Facebook people? All no, right. you are representation. So, you are representing the people my, today. <laughs> All of these issue, Facebook trolls. My issue with Apple uh -huh. is not the quality of their products. They have great products. Their products but come on, up, if, you, if you bring out that like, chip, if you bring out that chip mm -hmm. of that standard, mm -hmm. you will want to mm -hmm. praise it. And Apple does do some self-praise thing. They do. They like, do some overly so, Because thing. Let me tell you my position with, mm -hmm. with the operating systems, mm -hmm. right? I absolutely detest Android. Okay, why? All right? why? It's stress, it's annoying, it's okay. hard to deal with. Well, let me stick up in there. Right? Let me tell you what. I let love Android too, but Android... No. Android has a serious any, problem. Anybody, any actual engineer will tell you, Android is actually at its core flawed. Mm -hmm. It is. Memory management... But it's horrible. It's horrible. So it's let's not worst. pretend. Yeah. If you it's don't worst. know the actual details, mm -hmm. don't pretend. Android yeah. at its core mm -hmm. has a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. All right. My next phone. If mm. I'm to pick a phone, mm. 
Who might not have done? Yeah. <laughs> I just got where you was. Right? You open windows. No, no. But buy windows. Uh -huh. I don't know the situation with windows. Mm -hmm. But it would be an Apple phone. Okay. Right? I think that's a good choice. Because because I, I know what Apple has. Uh -huh. I understand. Uh -huh. They have good stuff. Mm -hmm. As opposed to Android. Like I said, the memory issue on Android is horrendous. Exactly, that's why it's the worst for you to ever. actually get a phone that runs properly. Yeah. That forget has six gigs. When the you iPhone, understand? I have an iPhone six. What's your one gig and it running better right. than some six gig phones? You don't even have to go to iPhone. A Windows phone <laughs> runs better than the highest rated. Come Android. on, if you actually know the technology, if, let me tell you the problem. I've in my years of using a Windows phone, I've never encountered a problem where I had to um, empty my cache, restart my phone because of memory issues. I don't even have a, a cleaning device on the phone. With don't Android, you, you need <laughs> plus you know, <laughs> a memory cleaning app. You don't get updates unless you're buying it's, it's next. Horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. You, you, it lags. Um, it just Google had to introduce God. a separate security patch system, mm -hmm. which most of y'all might not even have if you have an Android phone running on the latest security patches. Android is I, if if Google were to do Android again, they would not do it like how they did. No. Trust me. No. It's too much of any. Yeah, and a lot of people praise it for its um, customizability. Yeah, custom and, uh, but no, and don't, don't, don't fool yourself. I love Android. Don't I use Android. Yourself. I love rooting my mm -hmm. phone, yeah. trying custom ROMs. I mm -hmm. will never throw hot water and say, I would never use an Android phone. I have an Android phone. Mm -hmm. My first real phone was the Nexus 1 made by HTC. I love that phone daily. I bought it and I loved it. I do all manner of evil with it. Changing RAM, changes. Mm -hmm. Trust me. I know about that. Like I love I love the tinkering vibe mm -hmm. to Android, mm -hmm. but from a technology standpoint, it doesn't compare with Apple. It doesn't compare with iOS. It doesn't compare with Windows either. Well, <laughs> I, I never really <laughs> use Windows. I can't just I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so let me give you my take and reaction to the Apple event. Marie's hair has. Whew, Throw down a lot. <laughs> that's just I have more, you know. And yeah, apparently he that has more. That's just on the inside the and the yeah, processor. I have yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. But but let me just throw in my two cents. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, like I said, I wasn't completely impressed with the Apple event, as Murray's hair is <laughs> is impressed. All right. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm looking at it as the as, as a phone that. Would I need to be using? All right. Uh, what impressed me the most was the the portrait, the picture, and the camera quality that they have produced on their phone. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. The picture quality and the camera videos. I think I, for some, I always I was always baffled by Apple's 12 megapixel capable camera. I mean, everybody was like, "Well, it's only 12 megapixels. It's only 8 megapixels." But do you act, do you see the quality of those pictures? They're outstanding. That and the new animoji. The fact that they had to create <laughs> a, a, a new name for it and so forth. But the animoji is just it's really nice. It's brilliant. It's excellent. I love it. But question, Maurice, mm -hmm. is the animoji animoji a software update or is it? Strictly on a it's strictly, for, it's strictly iPhone X. It's strictly they iPhone use X. Using all dots and everything to map your face and move. So the iPhone but, 8 won't get it. But the iPhone 8 Plus has the same dual camera. No, to the back, but the one to the front oh, okay, okay. is different. The camera oh, okay, stuck okay. to the front. So right. it's only, so it's only it's so it's specific for the hardware. Yeah, it's and hardware specific, yeah. You know, no, 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 that to me is just stifling. <laughs> Why Apple? Oh, you know, you know, I am not, not even comment on Apple's money that, grabbing, oh my God. money grabbing practices. Mm. They are not on a level with that. So, yeah, for, for those of me, and I know there's a lot of other people out there who just love the animoji. Mm. <laughs> you gotta shell out some bucks, man. Yeah. <laughs> One, I want to point out a few things. People are not seeing the value of what Apple has done for AR right now. 
Google has been trying for years to get AI off of the yeah. ground. They're not seeing the value because the AI platform hasn't matured as yet. Hold on, hold on. Let me give right. you some It hasn't matured as yet. That's why. What? Because right. Apple ain't in it. Right? Can, <laughs> no, it's not Apple It just hasn't matured. No, no, hold on. Right? The industry hasn't matured. Oh, wait, let me All give you right. some example. Tango, fail. Daydream, fail. Right now, they're hoping that Apple could revitalize their platform. AR Core, that I don't think will do well because it's only restricted to certain phones mm -hmm. and not everybody have the money to buy S8 and all them phones. And we have the money to buy iPhone X. But the thing about AR Core, <laughs> the thing about, about um, Apple's AR is that it's available for so many devices because mm -hmm. everybody updates their devices. Mm -hmm. So immediately developers have millions and millions of phones to work with. When I saw AR Core, let me let me let's watch a let's watch a small part of this video here for you. Let me just skip to where I want you to see. So you could see this PC. So much more. You see that? People don't realize what the iPhone will do for the movie industry. When you are doing a big budget movie, in the iPhone X clip, and I will run it as I talk, you are seeing a dinosaur walking on a basketball court. The first thing that came to my mind was a big, bu a big budget film called Jurassic World. This is going to revolutionize small budget films you no longer have to shell out millions of dollars for good CGI no, no a camera no a camera so you could spend one thousand dollars and get quality CGI if you're doing a small budget movie that's just one example let me give you another example my father is a, a appraisal he measures building and so with AR coat with AR kit he can leave his his um his tape measure at home, go out and measure houses but from his phone, accurate measurements of houses. That will replace all tape measures. Let me give you another example. Real estate, Apple did a demo inside of their Apple Park where they took the camera and hover it over the table and you could have seen the Apple Park and get a, a live view of it. Imagine an unfinished house for real estate. You're taking a client to an unfinished house and you want your client to visualize what this house can look like finished. You could take out your iPhone out of your pocket, point it at that house and show them what a finished product would look like. You know what that would do for the real estate industry? You have to think deeper when it comes to Apple. That When it comes to retail, you want to decorate your bedroom. You point it at your bedroom and you put furniture inside of there, you see how it looks. Switch the paint. When it comes to makeup, you, it is one of the biggest revolutions in the app world since the iPhone, uh, the Apple Store. Right now, app, the App Store has plateaued. We're not really studying apps, apps. Everybody using the same number of apps: Facebook, Snapchat, blah 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 blah. Apple has now introduced a new platform that will revitalize the importance of the App Store with all of the capabilities that will come and when developers get a stronghold of this all of my examples there will be completely blown out of the window of what that is capable if you are a developer on my timeline talking about how useless the iPhone is you need to get the program and actually start researching how to use AR Core because that is just a fragment of, of, of your imagination of what you can do with this platform for those sports enthusiasts, the AI platform is exceptional, exceptional. wonderful. I you saw it. Oh demo my god! And I was like, wow! Wow! <laughs> you no, that, you no, that what? my friend is gonna get oh my buying a phone. Trust you me. could go to a baseball game or mm -hmm. NBA game, football, point it at the field, and you could figure stats out all everybody. of the stats on everybody. What? That's amazing. And you are not totally blown away. I am mm. hot and shocked in my mind, out of my mind. Mm. Come on. Yeah. And I could go on and on. We could go on and on. But I want to address Samsung. I posted that Samsung is a crappy company. And there's a reason why Apple, um, Samsung is a crappy company. In, I'm referencing to an article in 2012. Can I, can I just say that? Okay. 
Samsung hmm. is to Google. Samsung is to phones as Google is to OS. Okay, why is it that? Because just like how Google looks for growth and market share, Samsung does the same thing. Yeah, they don't look at quality. They don't look at quality, quality. Look at quality as well. But Google, I love Google because Google is good on software. And I'll touch on Google at the end. But here's why I say, for folks that want to ask it, why I say Samsung is a crappy company. One of the revelations that came out of the Apple versus Samsung case was a 132 page memo that I'm reading here about how Samsung circulated a document of how to copy the iPhone pixel for pixel, measurement for measure, without getting sued. Now, what kind, of, what kind of nasty company will circulate a hundred and something page document of and instructing the hardware and software division of how to couple Apple? You want to talk about copycats, people? This, this same Read one. this hundred and thirty-two docu page document. Oh, the CEO did get locked up here. <laughs> well, that <laughs> Serve him right. Serve him right. Oh, man. So, yes, folks. And another piece of information I want to drop here, another gem. Apple is buying these screens for the iPhone X from Samsung. So Samsung knew beforehand that Apple was going to make a widescreen phone. That is why... Did, did, you, did you think Samsung didn't just really happened. sabotage the Touch uh, ID? No, I don't think so. And the they wanted to embed the Touch ID Into on the, the screen, screen right, I know, but, but I don't think the technology is ready yet. Okay. I don't think it really is. But because, because I was wondering if Samsung, I mean, the screen is coming from Samsung. So I mean, I, Samsung probably, you I, know, I, you I, hold back some, you know, some stuff. development on that, you know, I don't know. Sure. I don't think that it was by chance that the, the Galaxy S8 had a big screen. No. I just feel like they were just the regular <laughs> scribbles that they are. They saw Apple putting in an order for big screens and they went and tried to preempt pre them at the start of the year. By the so, way, just to mention, the Samsung phone better than, still looks better than the iPhone. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, <laughs> it looks better. <laughs> it looks better. I don't care iPhone. if it looks I'm better. Just saying, I'm just, just putting that out there, you know. But Samsung ain't all that bad. Folks. Samsung to me it's, it's, is just a mm -hmm. big copy scribbing company. <laughs> that is what they are to me. The last point I want to make, my good fellow friends, is Google. Google is one of the best companies in this world. I love Google. Apple does stuff, big breakthroughs, but Google actually follows through. Siri versus Google Assistant. Google Assistant, much better. Apple Maps versus Google Maps. Uh, Google Maps, better. What I want to see is for Google to get out of their butts, get into the building of phones completely, start making your own chips like Apple do, Invest in good camera quality and actually build your own phones and stop having these companies represent your brand. Google will make a better Android phone than any any company, Samsung, whatever company you are, they will make a better phone, a quality phone that we could love. We see it in the Pixel, the Nexus has had some terrible cameras, but we see through the Pixel what Google can do. If they actually start developing the hardware themselves, from top to bottom, processors included, then I could respect Android because Google is a quality good company. Samsung and the other hand people, get real. I apologize. Read the 132 document where Apple where, where which states that Samsung is a big copycat. You will never find a, a memo like this in Apple copying somebody, please. Hi right, folks, this video is getting really way too long. There is so much stuff that we could talk about. Well, I know for me, I could talk about so much stuff about what happened at the Apple event. Just on the iPhone, an innovation that I have seen. But I'm so, so, for me, standout features, processor, very significant. Very, very significant. Competing with laptop class processors. The camera stuck at the front. Really good use of a technology that originated with Microsoft. The AI. I, I, I don't know why you look at it. <laughs> I won't watch you. The AI built into the processor. <clears throat> All of this will add up to a great, great product. When it comes to usability, when it comes to affecting the next wave of mobile applications, AR, AR kit is the way to go. I, I can't wait to see what they will do with, with VR. 
Apple is setting trends. Apple is a trendsetter, forward moving trendsetter. And uh, I don't have enough time to go into all of the nitty gritty, but I implore you when Apple does publish the, the event video, go and watch it, pause it in between, and put some thought to everything that they show. It is easy to look at it without any kind of depth thinking and just glaze over stuff. But when you look at it with a deep thought, you will actually see what Apple did on Tuesday. Five years from now, we are going to be talking about what, uh, what transpired in 2017. I guarantee you. Alright. Folks, this was mainly Maurice's <laughs> rant. <laughs> <laughs> It was my well, rant. We're gonna show you. There'll be a proper review video coming soon. Yes. All right. Take care, guys. All right. Peace out. <laughs>